Um, hello, everyone. Very warm welcome to the Photo Museum Vintage Tour. My name is Duncan Forbes. I'm the director of the museum, and I'm really pleased today that we have Andre Steinbach with us. Um, he's here for the opening tonight of our latest round of situations. Um, this is the program that we've initiated here at the Photo Museum uh, that allows us to develop a much more flexible and dynamic um, engagement with contemporary photography and themes around contemporary photography. And uh, this particular series of situations are called Seeing Machines, and Andre's work is included here in this um, new installation which opens today. Andre, very warm welcome. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for, for the invitation. Coming to Vintertur. Um, this is a series called Here, which dates from 2013. Can you just tell us a little bit about this series of photographs and, and what you're trying to do here? Yeah, actually it is kind of like a bridge work for me, so a lot of stuff started here where I'm working now on. Um, I would describe that uh, here coming two things together. Um, two of my main interests this are the ports where identity and the meaning of identity comes together and maybe I would say something like the public space and the private space. Mm -hmm. And um, like in, the, like in the title, it also implies a um, certain kind of condensed space on the one side and also this an indefinite place on the other side. So, or like you, um, in the German meaning of here, it is also like an urgency or a, a kind of like a direction or perspective. Mm -hmm. And I'm, my perspective I'm showing is um, young adults uh, in the public space and in their homes, and then to one picture in this selection in an indefinite place. So it's kind of like a switch from the public mm -hmm. over to the private, and then it resolves into a masked person sitting in an indefinite place. And these, these aren't really portraits, are they? You, you would regard them as staged photographs? or Yeah, they're all actually staged, mm -hmm. and I would say there are figures. Mm -hmm. in German figuren, mm -hmm. so I don't uh, give the information of the name or the background, so everything is staged, okay. so I can play a better game. So, because it's interesting, because here is, isn't a place, in a sense, it's, it's, it's a, not. It, no, it's a kind of vague, uh, vague kind of sense of place, but without a, a specific location. And, but, and there is a sense that these are politically active people in some way, I mean, or, or is that something you leave open to the viewer? To. The thing is, um, in the pictures, there is nothing which um, shows something like a political attitude. It's only that uh, I play with this, the thinking that, or uh, the meaning that the people see these figures and they try to figure out who are they, what they are doing. Then they look around in their private space mm -hmm. and um, they try to figure out, is, okay, this person has this boxing glove there, so maybe sh she's a boxer. Mm -hmm. um, but in the end, also in the mask one, you don't see anything of political action. Mm -hmm. so. But there are political references in these photographs, aren't there? I mean, we're standing here in front yeah. of uh, this image of a turntable, which in some ways looks very ordinary, but it, this refers to uh, Andres Bader, doesn't it, and the Bader-Meinhof? Yeah, that's right. Uh, actually, this is the, the thing I, I always uh, like to do is when I am stage the stuff so I can play with um, references or with kind of like a meaning, and this is, uh, I would love that this picture maybe for someone who knows the reference works like a déjà vu, mm -hmm. so it opens the ordinary view on this record player to a bigger view in kind of of history, so mm -hmm. okay, now you see the Bader-Meinhof record player, and then it opens a huge, uh, a huge other reference. Mm -hmm. uh, and these images are about the boundaries between the public and the private and the way those boundaries are changing or maybe yeah. the idea of the private space being threatened a little bit in contemporary culture? Yeah, of course. This is uh, my attitude is that I think that uh, the private is uh, somehow in danger. A lot of new tech, uh, technologies, te technologies mm -hmm. are coming to, uh, to our private home. We have cell phones and... I would say tracking devices everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I think um, mechanics of normalization and standardization, they are um, taking part when something is in public, of mm -hmm. course. And so I think to play this role around and say, um, okay, the, the, the private space I don't show you, but I show you something like a game where I dissolve the, again, the mm -hmm. meaning 
what is there and what you can read out of it. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like the same thing I do with the figures. So. Yeah. I mean, for me, the work generates a sense of unease. I mean, you're not, you're not sure what's going on, but yeah. you do feel this kind of sense of uncertainty and yeah. of unease of, and of people's space being invaded in some way. You yeah. know? And also by you as the viewer, because you're not quite sure as a viewer what your relationship to these people is. You know, you're not mm. looking at portraits, you're not mm. sure where they're located, so there is this sense of unease that's created. But one of the images that for me is most explicit yeah. in creating the sense of unease is the woman wearing the mask. Yeah, She's hiding and this is for me like an interesting, um, um, also on one side as aesthetic practice, but also maybe a cultural practice mm -hmm. where you, yeah, you lie about your identity. Mm -hmm. You hit, you hide your identity. So this is the one thing and Maybe the next steps I've done right now in my current work is that I, I go back and um, I try to um, create figures where they show actually a lot of stuff, but do it in a way that you are also uncertain what the meaning is. So, okay. uh, being um, anonymous by being really specific. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so you're continuing to explore this idea of the relationship between the public and the private and identity yeah. and how identity is formed yeah. in a surveillance society, basically. Basically, and in a society where um, producing pictures and um, to um, try to figure out the data of the pictures um, is something of a cultural... Um, and aesthetic practice, you can um, play the game with them mm -hmm. or oh. against them. And I like the way that this work fits into our Seeing mach Machine series because yeah. one of the ideas of the Seeing Machine is you take the human out of the photographic process, mm -hmm. but th these works put the human back in that sense of some kind of opposition or subversion mm -hmm. to surveillance society, but it's very unclear quite how that operates in the work and it's that ambiguity which I find very, very powerful in these photographs. Okay, Andre, many thanks indeed. It's been great thank to have you, you here. We're going to enjoy ourselves this evening at the opening. Um, but thank you very much. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for uh, following us on our YouTube channel. Many thanks. <laughs>